In the most recent Halo MCC development update, we got some great information about mining support possibly coming over the console as well as Halo 2 Vista content possibly making its way over to the MCC. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So as we do every Friday, we get a nice little development update of going on with the MCC and what's coming around the corner for us Halo players. So if you guys like kind of like these news and informational videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as we ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, well, make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. So as stated at the top of this video, we're talking about mod support when it comes to PC and possibly coming over to console, but it might not be sounding like anytime soon. Because if you guys remember with the recent release of season six, we had a chance to actually bring in CE custom edition maps into the MCC. The way it works is basically you download the map, you input it into the folder with all the other maps, you replace one of the original map file names with the new map you want to play. So say you want to play on Beaver Creek, right? All you gotta do is download the new CE custom edition map that you want to play, rename Beaver Creek as like Beaver Creek original, and then the new map you want to play as, label that as Beaver Creek, and you can play custom edition maps in the MCC. This is a highly appreciated addition with the season six and uh, looks like MCC is gonna be getting some more support when it comes to modding and the content creation side of things. And 343 is looking to expand on top of that ability as well to modify your game however you like. They even mentioned specifically Halo 2 Vista content coming over to the MCC, which is very exciting to think about. Though I've seen it a lot in my comments section of pretty much every MCC video that mentions modding whatsoever, that everyone goes, okay, are the mods gonna be coming to console anytime soon? And from what it sounds like, you guys on the console might have to wait. If not, I wouldn't hold your breath on it, honestly, if ever coming to the MCC, especially within the next few months when Halo Infinite releases most likely on November. But mod support will be the lifeblood of the MCC to continue on even after the release of Halo Infinite infinite because people are still making mods for older halo games like custom edition like you ever i'm sure you've all probably have heard of or at least played cursed halo and that's a custom edition mod that was recently released and people are still making awesome content on that so we could see that level of modifications for the mcc coming in but it might be just for pc as 343 stated here saying as of right now there are no plans to bring mods down to console for pc our goal for this year is to roll out and improve the modding experience on PC before we begin evaluating how we would, should we choose to, bring that to console. We have seen quite a bit of chatter around it and want to set expectations accordingly that as of right now, there is no official plan of record to make it so. This could possibly change in the future, but it's not on the current roadmap. I think the main issue why bringing mods to the console is such a huge, difficult problem is because the console itself is such a confined system. It's think of it kind of like how it is with like Mac and Apple computers compared to PC computers, right? You have to get the specific type of program to work on your Mac computer. Or on PC, it's kind of open and you can do what you want. Similar idea here when it comes to consoles versus PC where it's a lot easier to give people access to modify the PC because they can easily access the files just utilizing their file browser on their PC. You don't really have that same kind of thing on console. And also when it comes to console modifications or mods just in general, that they uh, generally have to be a much more curated kind of experience. Uh, just because if you're gonna open up mods for a console, you need to make sure that whatever you can modify or have downloaded on your console, it's something that is, well, up to a really high standard that would not feel super janky or out of place in the game. Where on PC, people can just choose to do that just from any kind of website, just download it and mess with the game however they're like. So this is just like one of these things where like modding is just a lot easier to access on PC than it is on console. Because console is kind of like the official standard version of the game. They don't really want to get too messy with it, especially there's a lot of licensing issues when it comes to that. When it comes to PC, it's kind of the wild west where you can kind of just 
tinker with it and play around with it however you like, and that's why you see a lot more mining support when it comes to PC than you do on console. Though yes, we have seen mods come to other games, the one that comes to my mind specifically is Fallout 4 had that ability as well, but if I remember correctly, the mining support for console was definitely there, but it just wasn't as extensive as we had for PC. Again, it just kind of comes down to the closed system that is the console, the licensing issues when it comes to bringing in like user-generated content on the platform to be presented as like a Microsoft product. How console mods need to be very curated to make sure you're not downloading anything kind of weird or funky or something that might be something you don't want your uh, kids under 18 to watch. It just gets really messy and that's why PC gets the modding favors right there. Though 343 does not completely rule out mods coming to console as pretty much with the MCC as a whole it's ready when it's ready and anything is really possible if there's enough time and enough want for it. Though honestly if you wanted to play MCC on PC you don't really need that great of a computer to do it. You can even play it on probably just like a standard laptop probably and get a chance to try it out. As soon as we have more information when it comes to modding support in the MCC because what we've heard it sounds like they're trying to do basically the same level of custom edition modding tools for the MCC and if that's the case then the floodgate will be absolutely opened when it comes to modding support on the MCC for PC. But as soon as we know more information I guarantee I'll let you guys know on this channel so if you guys missed any content from me recently or be out of the loop for Halo for the last few days or so make sure you check out the videos on the screen right now. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.